Alright, let's see what Fenty is bringing us this year. Intra, 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 intra. Hey guys, Chichi here. Welcome back to my channel. So Fenty is hitting us pretty early with the holiday releases. So your girl, you already know I had to pick up both. Uh, this is the Glossy Posse Round 2 as well as some new Stunna Lip paints. Actually all of these shades are brand new. So hopefully this year your girl likes it a little bit more. So I'm not wasting any time. We're gonna start off with the Glossy Posse. It retails for $36. Now this year we have four brand new shades where last year we had five shades, but one shade, it was already permanent. We save a couple of dollars, but low key, high key, well, all the way high key. I really don't like the packaging this year. I really was digging the tin can from last year, so. I'm a little upset by that, but it is what it is. This color story does rival last year's color story as well. So we gonna see, hopefully it's not too glittery cause that was the main reason why I returned it. So hopefully this isn't as glittery. Up first we have Baby Brute and this looks like a light pink with silver shimmer in it. This is reminding me of last year's confetti but a lot more toned down because confetti looks like you you be doing stuff on your other nine to five or even the daytime i don't know with flipsy boot but this one is a lot better as far as the sparkle goes i don't feel any glitter which is good now on the website it says this is a shimmering gold i don't see that <laughs> at all this is more of that iridescent bluish um, silvery sparkle that's in it. I'm glad because I don't think this color would have been cute if it was gold. I actually do like this. It's almost like a cross between Sweet Mouth and Confetti. That's what I would say this shade is. And I'm okay with this shade. She, she cute cute. We off to a good start. Going in with Taffy Tees. This looks like a light watermelon coral shade with a bit of silver shimmer. To me it's coming up a little bit lighter of a pink on my lips but again I don't have that glitter. I'm hoping that all of the shades are kind of on the shimmer and not the glitter but so far I'm very happy with not feeling it on my lips but this shade is it's okay. It's not as vibrant on my lips due to my the pigmentation in my lips but I still do see the pink. Is it a shade that I would really gravitate and grab for? No. It's a gloss. It's cute. It's cute. I think I would have liked it to be a little bit deeper, but I mean, I could work with it. On to the one that I'm actually excited for, and this is Cake Shack. Cake, 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 cake. Of course, you, you gotta say that. But this one is a bronze with silver shimmer this one i can get behind if you saw the glossy posse volume one uh swatch party y'all know i hate it chocolate lip the thing about chocolate for me was that gold shimmer that was in it it just it just was too much it was more like a glitter this one has a silver but it's more of a shimmer to it i don't know if they just had tons of this bluish iridescent but i swear they just put it in all three of these thus far because my lips just have that bluish purpley silver reflect i don't know if they sitting on kilos of that shimmer but so far this is my front runner because this is wearable this is cute i can say what's up like hey how you doing however i do wish Shit. I do wish this was a little bit more bronze, just the hair, like a little deeper with the brown. But overall, throw a brown lip liner on it, psh, you good to go. And finally, the shade that everybody was excited for, except for yours truly, and that is Ruby Milk. This is a plum with a little bit of a silver shimmer. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> Y'all know I don't I don't do pinks like this. At least this is a, a deeper kind of pink. It's not like bubblegum candy, uh, girly girly pink. 
Am I in love with it? No, but I am impressed with the pigmentation of this particular shade. You can definitely see that it is some sort of pink on my lip. It's not as vibrant as what it is in the tube, but you can still see it. Here's my thing with glosses. I prefer opaque looking glosses. I like my Pat McGrath. I like my Artist Couture where you can truly see the color. And for me with glosses like this, all of the shades within a certain category kind of start looking the same. I think that's my biggest gripe with glosses. I do like this collection a whole lot better than I did last year's. Last year's had to go back because I just felt all that glitter on my lips. This one is the shimmer that I like. Here's all four on the back of my hand so you can kind of see the variation between all of them. They're very, very subtle when it comes to the variation of the shades, especially uh, Cake Shake and Baby Brew. But overall, I mean, it, it's Fenty Gloss. It's a Fenty Gloss. They smart because they'll introduce these minis and then they'll drop the larger ones. So that's really good market research. They'll watch videos like this, hopefully if y'all watching, <laughs> they'll watch videos like this and see which ones y'all are really feeling. Then they'll drop those maybe like early spring and then the other two like early summer or something like that. So if I had to say which ones they're gonna drop first, I think they're gonna do these first and then the other two they're gonna pull up in the summertime. If the second quarter glosses aren't sha-popping like everyone wants it, they just won't make as money. See, they saving money. I know what y'all doing. I got a degree in marketing. I, I know what y'all doing. On to the portion of the video I've been waiting for and that is the Stunna Lip Paints. <laughs> we have two brand new shades coming in at $25. Now Fenty, clearly you ignored my memo. <laughs> I want to see the original shades in this mini size, but we are getting brand new shades, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna put that out in there for 2021. Let's let's see if that happens for next year. You know, 2020 has been very trying on all of us, so I forgive you. Going in with underrated, this is described as a, a deep berry. It's kind of like a purpley fuchsia. Look at that, that is just a one swipe. One swipe, no extra dips. See, this is why I like the Stunna Lip Paints because you can literally go in with one swipe, cover your entire lip and keep it pushing. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's definitely fuchsia. I'm not sure if I would consider this plum. You could see the purple and pink blend to it and it's not super vibrant, you know what I'm saying? It's very like in the cut, chilling. I dig this color a whole lot. This is a really beautiful, beautiful shade, especially when it dries down. Cause I know a lot of people were like really talking about it when it was kind of still wet, but when it's dried down like this, Wow, this is a mad cute. Yeah, y'all need a full size of this one because this is a beautiful shade. I'm not buying a full size because I love minis. But <laughs> I like this because it's got that depth to it. I think this would look gorgeous on my Coco Goddesses. This is one of those, those shades that every brown girl needs. Period.com.gov. Get this one. And finally, I'm super excited. This is Unmatched. It is a cool toned red. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are getting better with the reds, aren't we? Now with this red, I feel like there's a little pink situation going on in it. It's not like that true like blue base red that I'm after, but this is a really nice bold red for those of you who may be afraid of the true like blue base reds. It's showing up a little bit on the pinkish side. I'm not sure if my camera is really capturing it, but it's definitely got a little pink in there. It's not like full like sex red. It's like, I can do some things kind of red. <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple of swatches real quick. Up top we have underrated and unmatched. And then I decided to put uncensored 
just so you can see the two reds side by side. I definitely feel like Unmatched is more on that fuchsia-y red where um, Uncensored was a true red red. Depending on how you like your levels of red, I mean, we're, we're getting somewhere. I haven't got my Madame shade in a uh, lip paint yet, but this one actually reminds me of Flamingo Acid, I think the shade is. I hope the camera is really like picking it up. It's giving me like deeper Flamingo Acid. I don't have that shade, but off the top of my head, I know that's, that's the one it looks like. I've already said that Fenty Beauty, they kind of do the same shades in their products. So I feel like the lipsticks kind of have a corresponding shade to the lip paints. Ooh, do we dare to mix the two? I don't think we've seen some mixing. Let, let, let's try to mix it. I'm actually kind of digging both of them mixed together. That got a little bit deeper. Ooh, that's actually pretty fucking dope. Mmm. If y'all have these two, mix them together. You might like them. I might have just did something right there. I don't know about y'all, but shoot, I'm digging it. So I think your girl is gonna be keeping these two collections. Look at me, look at me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch video. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Stay comfy, guys. Bye.